Hey guys, it's Tori and I'm here right now with State Champs. How's it going, y'all? Hello. Hello. Doing very well. Doing very yeah. well. I feel like this is our first like actual actual interview. Is it not? I think so. I feel like it is. I mean, yeah. we've obviously talked. We've I mean, you know we 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 go way back. We but do go but way this back. is our first official one together, like <laughs> us and you. Oh yeah, because the last I think the last one had broadside in it. If I remember clearly, oh, right. Warp yeah, 2015. Right. That was, yeah, we did this pit. weird joint interview yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. I remember that. Yeah, and I just sat quietly while you all bickered the whole time. Yes. So. <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, you guys are on a headlining tour right now. You're at House of Blues here in Orlando. How are you enjoying the tour so far, first off? Oh, it's been great. You know, it's kind of flown by. We're about halfway yeah, through yeah. already, which seems crazy oh, yeah. because yeah. Uh, we've had nothing but amazing shows, lots of sold-out crowds, wild crowds, and uh, a great tour package that we put together of good bands. And some of the some of these shows have been, like, the biggest we've ever done in the States. Yeah. So it's, like, really special to us and a lot of sellouts on this tour, which is really cool. Good. As the internet would say, you've peaked. Well, is that, is that well, what we'll see about that. No? <laughs> I think the internet would say we are sellouts. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. And and we are. So first off, we have some finished sentence questions for you guys. Um, so the first one is, your favorite meme is, how about we pass this down the line? Oh, here man. Are here. My favorite meme is the blinking white guy. Do it, you gotta do oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but I like it. I don't know if this is a meme more than it is a vine, but the, uh, the snacks baby. Oh, snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Um, I don't know if that's. Here, you can grab I it. really like um, LeBron James, where he's like this, and everyone captions it with something. You yeah. know, that's my yeah, one right yeah, now. Yes, yeah. That's my one right now. That one's a good one. Yeah. That was a that fairly one. recent one. That was kind of recent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine's old. Mine's, old. Mine's, Mine's not even really a meme, so. I mean, yeah, it's kind of. A vine. We have a diverse collection True. here of memes and things. Yeah. Um, so your number one celebrity crush is. Oh man, Hillary Duff. Ooh, good choice. I have to come back. To this. Always loved her. Mm -hmm. Met her at um, at a putt putt course in eighth grade. Oh yeah. I asked her to the eighth grade dance. She said no. Oh. Damn, I'm skip me on this one. I have to think. Come on, Evan. We'll I know. I can't think right now. It's an important question. Who am I supposed to say right now? I mean, I have a few. Ariana Grande comes to mind. Mm. But yeah, I think that that's voice. everyone's. I, mean, I got a crush yeah. on that voice. <laughs> 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 we'll, all right, Evan. We'll let this one slide. <laughs> oh my god, you don't have any? He just got engaged. He's not allowed to say oh. that. Evans is Sean Mendez. That's not true. <laughs> Sean Mendez. Okay, that, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Also. Ooh, still, like, current day Justin Bieber, though? Because that's questionable, but. Yeah, he's got some shit going on. I still think he's talented. I think he's cooler now, actually. Oh, yeah? Because he's, he's weird. <laughs> yeah. And the next one here is the most surreal moment of your career so far was when? Uh, it may have been on this tour. We played our biggest headline show to date. It was a sold out crowd at Boston House of Blues and it was an incredible show. That was like a big uh, wow moment, emotional, I think. I think for me, like the Fall Out Boy tour we did kind of right before this was, was pretty special. Like yeah. playing with Fall Out Boy in general is incredible and then those venues were massive. So that for me. I would say main stage Reading and Leeds was really, really cool oh, for me, yeah. just because it's like legendary. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've done I'd some cool stuff. Sometime, one we've of these days. Cool yeah. um, so, what would you say is like the next goal? Speaking of big things, that would be the next P. The next goal, I think, uh, would be to keep playing shows, keep selling out shows. We want to. There's some new countries we want to see that we haven't been to yet. Uh, and then we try to think of other bands that we would love to tour with. Touring at the Jonas Brothers. With the Jonas Brothers. That's <laughs> oh right. God. That is so, the yeah. next step. Our current campaign. Didn't MTV post something they, about this? Yeah. I saw that. They are helping yeah. us with our campaign of being on tour with the Jonas Brothers, and so I think it this, may work. Please. This whole we know that they're relentless. watching. Yeah. We know that the Jonas Brothers are watching this yeah, interview. This so, yeah, this yeah. 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 That's oh your celebrity crush? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I will be front row center to that tour. State champs Jonas Brothers. Comment below if you would, too. Yeah. And last one here is your favorite way to pass time on tour is? Oh, I know yours. Fortnite. Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would have to say, yeah, playing Fortnite with Derek <laughs> is, a, is a great Ryan way to plays now, time. too. Yeah. I, play, I played my first game the other day, got third place. I love with, He did I'm, really good. I'm I approached pro. him the whole way through. He did. he did. My favorite way to pass time on tour is actually going thrifting. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thing. I'm sure there's like a lot of cool cities with a lot of new spots yes, and like exactly. everywhere is a little bit different exactly. too. That's why it's fun. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Okay, so now we have just uh, relocated I ever demanded, so slightly. I demanded, Tori, that we move at least five feet to the right. I look better in this light, so. Yeah, it's truly, <laughs> it's <laughs> so much more flattering for all of us, so I hope you all agree. <laughs> um, Comment um, below if you think we look better from this angle. <laughs>
Absolutely. Um, so what we were kind of saying here is, so you are on tour right now, The Dangerous Summer, Our Last Night, and Grayscale. Mm -hmm. And the thing about tour life is that it can get a little bit monotonous. It gets very repetitive. Same show every day, just a different city, different venues. We all kind of feel the same. So how do you keep your routine fresh and keep your creative juices flowing? Yeah, we try to like make sure that we're not in the same kind of like daunting routine, like step like day by day. Yeah. So it's important to spend time with the other bands that you're on tour with that you know you may not get a chance to tour with again. You know, mm -hmm. meet them, uh, hang out, because everybody's there for the same reasons, and there's no room for like cool guys or like egos on tours like this. Yeah. So right. it's cool to just spend time with each other and go around and explore and do fun things. And we find our own ways to like uh, yeah. you know pass the time. We usually yeah. like in new cities, we'll go out and explore. Like that's the. The one great thing about doing this is we travel yeah. everywhere, so being able to see different areas and different food spots, just like trying not to stay in the venue all day is a, is a really big thing, specifically for me, but yeah. Yeah. exploring. I started taking photos because I, yeah, cool. I was getting bored of like not <laughs> doing anything, and I'm like, we're in a new place every day, like why not go out and see something cool and see something interesting? So for me, it kind of pushed me to go do things yeah. rather yeah. than just like sit around, so yeah. And then at the same time, like you also have something to look back on now when you think yeah, about exactly, these memories. Because exactly. yeah. I'm sure touring also after a while feels like a blur. Yeah. So yeah. having those photos, you're like, oh yeah, I did that. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, photos or videos makes it where you can go and revisit. It's fun. For sure. Absolutely. And the time hop probably loves that too. When you yeah, see like yeah. five years exactly. ago or something like that. Sometimes <laughs> you don't love the time hop. Sometimes no. you're like, oof. Yeah. I don't want that Sometimes like, wow. Exactly. Like, wow, I dressed like that yeah. five years ago? <laughs> Um, and also you have your album Living Proof that is out now yep. and something I was reading about in previous interviews with you guys is you were saying that there are some nuances on this album that are reminiscent of previous releases but at the same time there is a huge amount of growth here. So what lessons did you take from recording and releasing those previous releases and how did you implement them onto this new album? Yeah with our last albums I feel like we kind of always just sat in a room and were focused on writing uh, songs as the five of us. Um, we just come from being in a room with guitars and jamming and doing everything ourselves. This time we weren't afraid to like step in the room with new people and newer settings and yeah. kind of think outside the box and get a little bit like uncomfortable to explore our knowledge of recording music. So mm -hmm. we took everything that we learned in the past of being in a studio and now brought in some new minds and different uh, sets of eyes and ears that could help us along the way, which is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Was this the first time that you kind of collaborated with other people outside of the band? Uh, yeah. Songwriting. Yeah, right. definitely. Right. Yeah, definitely. Right. For full albums. And, you know, we worked with multiple producers on Living Proof, multiple songwriters, uh, including ourselves, obviously, on all the songs. But uh, it was it made us think differently a lot of things and we tried new things, uh, which ultimately still ended up being a State Champs album, at least, right. and we hope that you guys think so too. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect segue to my next question here as well. Um, so on this album, we did work with Alex Yaskarth and Mark Hoppus, which is amazing that you got to collaborate with them, first of all, because um, I'm sure in a weird way it's like a full circle moment, because these are kind of veterans of your genre. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So how do you kind of strike a balance, though, of staying true to yourselves? still sounding like state champs but also taking into consideration their influences as well. Well first off it was really nervous being in the room with someone like Mark Hoppus uh, yeah. Yeah. as opposed to Alex Gaskarth who we knew and were friends with already. Right. Um, so those are two different kind of things but still it is a full circle moment like you said it's mm -hmm. like those are pioneers of our genre and uh, influences us to yeah. even want to make music in the first place yeah. but uh, it took a little bit to warm up to those guys but they were really cool yeah. all those guys were really cool with helping Wor us yeah I feel like working with Alex is pretty pretty easy because like you said we've been friends with him but Mark it was really intimidating at first yeah. spe specifically for Derek they like kind of went off at first yeah we met like, like oh, 15 yeah. minutes yeah. later we, he was like let's go write lyrics let's go outside and, write like lyrics and talk about life so that was <laughs> crazy but um, yeah learned a lot about each other and ultimately got some great songs out of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was kind of putting myself in your shoes when I was thinking about this process of working with them and I would be so scared to hurt their feelings if yeah. they pitch an idea and you're like, ah, no, nah, we're not going to do that. Luckily, you know? like that was like a thing right off the bat. They're like, if you guys don't like anything, just tell me yeah. no yeah. or say stop it or like yeah. say I don't like that. They're, they're and it's important to yeah. be like that. That's what keeps your sound you. Uh, so you, you got to be important. You got to be recognizing when you're just being a yes man and when you're not yeah. you know yeah and at yeah. this point you can't you can't do that like yeah because working with new people specifically like I don't know how much Mark has heard state champs so we kind of know what we're going for and he yeah. might not so we you have to be able to say no because then you know if you don't then you're kind of just but also he had a lot of great ideas yeah he, he, was, he was incredible like yeah. every morning we would we would meditate with with John Feldman yeah and he opted out to do that the morning that he came in and he wrote a song in the 20 minutes that we were meditating <laughs> yeah. and it was like a really great like 
pop punk banger. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's then really we spent cool. the rest of it, and that got the juices flowing yeah, for us cool. to write songs all day. So it's cool. Yeah. It, was it was very, very interesting, cool. like how fast he worked, and like he was just like spewing out ideas that were great. So it was cool. Yep. Yeah, and I feel like it does kind of come with the territory that you do get kind of lumped in and like compared to All Time Low or Blink-182 mm -hmm. or all these other bands, yeah. just because it's all the same genre and some people just like to do that on the internet. <laughs> um, so how do you respond to those comparisons, especially now that you have actually collaborated with those people? Yeah, I mean, we don't mind people saying that we sound like All Time Low or something like that. I mean, they were definitely an influence of us. But I think now it's cool to see other bands, like newer bands that are being just signed now, starting up, saying that, they, like, if you're fans of State Champs, you might like this band. Because yeah. that makes that me, makes me think that we have our own sound now, too, yeah. right. which is cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I would definitely agree with that yeah personally. I mean it, all time low is a great band so like I don't think you know I don't feel any shame when somebody says hey yeah. you sound like all time low like oh, we're yeah. not all all time low we so, have our own specific yeah, sound yeah. we definitely took influence from all time low but mm -hmm. you know if that's the band that makes you think of of Stay us chance, then yeah. then cool yeah. it's, it's like, also oh, funny yeah. too like when we wrote a few songs with with Alex, like I'm in the vocal booth and he's the one talking back to me, like like and we're singing together. So I do find myself almost like trying to sing like him when we're uh, singing with each other, um, and it, and it sh kind of shows a little bit. And I've heard, I've seen the comments and stuff. He sounds a lot like Alex from All Time Low. Well, it's because he was in the room singing with me. <laughs> so like it's hard not to, you know? Yeah, and I I feel like it's kind of just an automatic thing people do is that they want to compare you to somebody else and they hear a band right. for the first time. Yeah. So it kind of yeah. makes sense that that would happen. Yeah. Um, but good to see that you're saying true to yourself. Got yeah. that say champ sound. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And also the inspiration behind the album artwork. That's something I was really curious about. Yeah. So we found a really cool artist that we wanted to work with, and uh, he does a lot of very like collage style things. Uh -huh. And that was like kind of a we found a cool concept where we want to take little elements from every single song on the album mm -hmm. and like find a little way to make just a big collage that represents every song, but ultimately, and then in the front uh, is just one a big tiger, which we decided to be like the branding symbol for the album too. Okay. And we now we will implement little tigers or cats or whatever on all of our merch for this oh. cycle as well, which is really cool. We just wanted something that was like a little bit more mature and kind of like not mysterious but something that made you think, something that made you look at it more than once, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And like a uh, scavenger hunt. Exactly. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of people were like, this looks like something that would be like in Urban Outfitters or yeah, something. Yeah, we, so, like, we heard that a lot. We're we growing up, like we don't <laughs> yeah. want to be this like, you know, neon splash of paint on a, yeah. on our album anymore you know like yeah. we're a pop punk band but like yeah. we're adults now I mean yeah. I was kind of hoping you were going to bring back those foiled shirts from the MySpace days that's uh, what I really wanted honestly, that'll come back soon though that yeah. will Please. come back not yet but it yeah. will come back I'm sure yeah don't give our like future plans away oh my bad my bad I'm giving it all away right now <laughs> next tour next, next tour record. that's all I want foil print right here yes Yes. And it says the F word on it for State sure. Like, yeah. With like all the like different symbols because you can't actually write that word because yeah. your parents State will get mad. Champs. Please, please. <laughs> Leave that out. This is, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. is a vision. I love where you're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Comment below if you're not allowed to wear shirts with um, the F word on it. <laughs> for research, for science. <laughs> I'm really getting into the YouTube culture, so yeah, I like yeah, it. please like and subscribe also. <laughs> There's so many different questions in this interview for people to comment below about now. It's <laughs> getting ridiculous. It's great. The engagement is going to be very high. Very high engagement. We're going to be number one on the search bar. You guys, are, yeah, you you're learning. You got it. I'm just going to hook you up, Tori. <laughs> Thank you. Got my back. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of younger bands that do look up to you guys for influence, especially because you have become a bit of a staple in your genre. Um, so what do you think it takes to stand out as a pop punk band? Especially, I don't know, personally, I think it is a genre that can get a little bit repetitive. So what do you think it is about you guys and about other bands that it kind of takes to stand out? Well, people could say it's branding, it's the look, it's the, you know, the attitude of the bands, but ultimately it comes down to your songs. If you have a catchy hook and you have a great song that people want to scream at you at their shows and that they want to show their friends and nonstop listen to in their earphones, that'll make you a good yeah. band. And you know? be yourself. Don't try and cop anything. Just write whatever you feel that you love and like don't try and be like, oh, I want to sound like this band. Like we have to write like them. Just yeah. write, what I, write what you love. Yeah. I think a big part of it is having a good singer too. I mean, I think True. pop punk can Wish seem kind one. of repetitive. Yeah, <laughs> pop punk can seem yeah. kind of repetitive because I think you're stressing him out a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm saying he's a big reason yeah, why I think State Champs is kind of uh, you he's know the up there. Yeah, you know absolutely. Guys. I'm He's great. Cry. We're lucky. <laughs> but at the same time, you Actually, know, like, we're lucky we have two great you gotta singers. You got to have really good backup Aww. singers. Two great, Aww. two great singers in the band. <laughs> and you got to have a great drummer and that's oh, handsome. Oh, damn. <laughs> I just love all the love right now. Yeah. You got to have a great tour manager, too. <laughs> the best tour manager. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's like, don't get me involved in this. Yeah. He runs away. No, but for, for real though, like you have to have people that are proficient in what they do. Like, yep. yeah. and you know, you can, there can't be any weak spots. Um, yeah. We're very lucky as a band to have everybody that knows what they're doing. Yeah. Right. And we have the best of the best, so. For sure. He's two. I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And he's so humble. <laughs> so humble too. Um, anyway, so you guys are on this tour right now, as we mentioned. What are the plans coming up after this that everybody can look forward to? We've got, we've, yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of more touring, like overseas stuff coming after this. That's a true. big uh, summer tour in the U.S. that's going to be announced very soon as well. Yeah, yeah. And then well, by the end of this year, I think it's time to get uh, back in the studio and start thinking about Ooh. new music. So yeah. that's that. You heard it here first. Maybe some acoustic right. stuff. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, we've been talking about maybe doing some new acoustic things too. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up. I'm very excited. The wheels Top are secret. turning, the ideas yes. are happening, yes, the are. foiled shirts are being printed. Yeah, yeah, right now, <laughs> as we speak. As we speak. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It was Thanks, a great story. talk to you. Great to yes, you, you as well. Everybody watching, make sure you check out State Champs if you haven't already. Subscribe, Subscribe for more right videos. Here. It's right here. Like, there's going to be a link right here. And there's going to be a link here. And if you want to come to a show that isn't sold out, buy a ticket. Yeah. Right Link here. Down in the description. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs>